write out the first three terms of the sequence u r is r squared minus two r plus seven. So we have a quadratic sequence. Hence, find the sum of the sequence from r to one to n. So we're finding the sum of the first n terms, and then check our answer for the sum using n is equal to three. So we've got the terms of the sequence u r is r squared minus two r plus seven. So u1 will be 1 squared minus 2 times 1 plus 7. That gives me uh, 6, 1 take away 2 plus 7. u2 will be 2 squared minus 2 times 2 plus 7. That gives me uh, 4 take away 4 plus 7, which is 7. And finally, the third term will be 3 squared minus 2 times 3 plus 7. So that gives me 9 minus 6 plus 10 plus 7, which gives me 10. Right, the first three terms, therefore, are 6, 7, and 10. So if we want to find the sum of this sequence of the first n terms, which we write as sigma u r from r to 1 to n, will be from r to 1 to n of r squared minus 2r plus 7. Now split this up into sigma of r squared from 1 to n. 2 minus 2, take the 2 out of the sigma sign from of r, sigma r from 1 to n, plus 7 times 1, uh, sigma 1, from r to 1 to n. Now, there are some standard results, so the sum of the first set of squares is can be written as 1 sixth n, n plus 1, times 2n plus 1. The sum of r from r to 1 to n is 1 half n n plus 1. We come across that one before. This is the new one. And then then the sum of 1 from r, uh, r to 1 to n will be n. Right, so applying this to each of these. So the first one will be 1 sixth n n plus 1 times 2 n plus 1 from this uh, identity here. Minus 2, make sure we use uh, brackets of 1 half n n plus 1 plus 7n. Right, there is... I'll just write that out again. Right. Uh, taking out 1 sixth, OK, because it's going to be like the uh, lowest common denominator. Take out 1 sixth n. Now, if we take out 1 sixth here, we and, and an n, because we can take an n from everywhere as well, we get n plus 1 times 2n plus 1. Here, the 2s will cancel. The n has gone, so we've got... My, uh, my, and we have to put a 6 in, otherwise, if we don't, uh, we'll, won't, this won't be correct when you multiply back in the 1 sixth. So you need to put that 6 in, and then plus 6 times 7 as well at the end, otherwise it won't be correct. That allows you to take out the fraction, and then we can just work with this to make it easier. So we've got 1 sixth n... So expanding this, we've got 2n squared, and then we've got n plus 2n, which is 3n plus 1, minus 6n, minus 6, plus 42. Then we've got 1 sixth n, so we've got 2n squared, and we've got 3n take away 6n, which gives me th minus 3n, and then we've got 1 minus 6 plus 42, which gives me 37. Right, we're asked to check this answer. So first of all, when n is 3, our three terms, and when added together, will be 6 plus 7 plus 10, which gives me 23. And then we put n is 3 into here. We get 1 sixth times 3, times 2 times 3 squared, minus 3 times 3, plus 37. That uh, cancels out, so we get a half. 3 squared is 9 times 2, which is 18, minus 3 times 3, which is 9, plus 37. And then we're going to get a half times uh, 18 minus 9 is 9, 9 plus 37 is 46. 2 goes into 46, 23. Whew, we get the same answer. So the answers agree. So this will be the sum of the first n terms. OK, we haven't proved it. All we've done is we've shown it. OK, this has been a video to show you how to find, use the sum of the squares. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.